We're also talking about London as well. And uh, are we too London centric here in the UK? Is there a snobbery from London to other places? But also, would you just never want to live in London? Whenever we talk about London, I get lots of complaints saying, stop going on about London. So this is your chance. This is your chance to tell me why you love or indeed loathe London. Well, uh, Georgia Gilholy is Gilhooly, I should say, is a conservative commentator from Young Voices UK and joins me live on talk radio. Hi there, Georgia. Hi, how's it going? Fine, thank you. So, firstly, where do you live, Georgia? Well, I actually live in central London, but right now I'm just visiting my parents in Staffordshire. <laughs> okay, you live in central London? Mm-hmm. Okay. I wouldn't say exactly where. No, no, I don't think you should say exactly <laughs> where. Um, and do you like living in central London? Um, I would say in central London, there are lots of pluses and lots of minuses. So pluses being, you know, you're close to lots of brilliant con cultural institutions. Um, you're close to many lucrative professions. Um, though I wouldn't really count journalism as being a lucrative profession, unfortunately for me. Um, no. Um, <laughs> there's lots of opportunities, however, it's very expensive, it's very loud. If you didn't necessarily grow up in the area or, um, you don't know that many people around there, there's not necessarily a, a community feel or a social support network. Um, so I think, yeah, and on top of that, I know that your previous caller talked all about, you know, certain issues with crime, which I definitely witness. I live in a, I would say, a bit safer quite I mean, a safer you, area you, can now. You tell us the area of central you don't have to tell us exactly you know, yeah so i uh, currently um, i'm actually moving to a different area of central london soon so i can just say i live in gloucester road right now right which is decent it's like south kensington it's quite touristy so it's, it's there's a nice not part that of many issues yeah it's quite nice um and i've previously lived in Whitechapel, which is a lot i guess it has a worse reputation for i would say for good reason there's a lot of crime when i was living there as a student you know and I how old are you now? I woken up in the middle of the night by people, you know, fighting outside my house. Oh, God, and that well, just doesn't happen. I live yeah, in, it doesn't happen where I am now. I live in Brixton, um, love. Every night's bonfire night. But, uh, Georgia, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm just 23. 23. All right. Because when I was your age, actually a bit younger than you, I was living in a place called the North. And <laughs> I, <laughs> I, lived in, it, yeah. I lived in Leeds. <laughs> And um, though I used to spend time in Staffordshire and stuff. And the thing is, if you are someone that is wanting to make a success of your career and, you know, be someone perhaps of of note in your life, especially if you want to do it within the realms of journalism, um, I always used to feel that being in the north, in Leeds, I, I was never, ever going to make it in any way shape or form in a way that i would be able to in london i used to watch the news in leeds or staffordshire or any of those places especially the regional news and it was just so unbelievably dull and everything was about anything that was major or that really affected the region would always originate in london and everything that was even focused in the national news when you're not in london but you want you're desperate for your your area to be acknowledged you realize that everything's london centric because london is where everything actually happens and so my question is do you feel like you've had to move to london because actually london is the place where everything happens and whether you like it or not you've got no choice but to live here yeah pretty much at this stage in my life and in my career i suppose um, working in the certain type of journalism I want to. I was never really interested in local journalism. I was interested more Nothing in, happens like, in Staffordshire, yeah. does it? I mean, well, I don't mean to be horrible. But... That's not strictly true. What is the last big thing in... that happened in Staffordshire in the news? <laughs> um, I think there was like a massive car crash earlier in my town. But... Oh, yeah, well, that happens daily in London, <laughs> daily. That's a, that's a big uh, news in yeah, Staffordshire. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, let's be realistic. Obviously, London is the centre of political power and political events in the uk so if you're interested in say political journalism realistically you are going to have to move to london things have changed a little bit with the whole work from home thing but that's not going to be permanent i, mean, I am on um, i am on the bbc stoke and staffordshire page at the moment my dear 
and their top story is that a mother has won a court case over a noxious land fill smell. Now, I am not saying that that is not a big story, but if I were to get top billing every time I smelled something dodgy walking through the streets of Lambeth, do you know what I mean? But in Staffordshire, that is a big story. And so you sort of get, you feel like your world is much, much smaller when you're not in London. And that's, that's probably to the detriment of people. I'm not saying that in any kind of snobbish way. I'm saying that that we need to rebalance things happening elsewhere in the UK for us to be uh, a better nation. Mm, I, yes and no. It's just like, you know, the whole levelling up Northern Powerhouse thing right now that people talk about when they talk about trying to make things, I guess, I'm trying, you know, sort of, I guess, valorise the economy outside of London or whatever. It's sort of just empty words. I mean, how are you actually going to make that happen? Realistically, London will still be the city in the UK. Um, it has been the city in England, you know, since, what, the 16th century. Mm. Um, that's a fact. Um, but it doesn't mean that, you know, there aren't brilliant opportunities elsewhere in the UK, because often there are, especially in, you know, the bigger cities like, you know, Manchester, Birmingham. Sheffield, maybe even Leeds. I don't know Leeds that well. So do you I've think you'll live in London times. long term? <laughs> or do you think you'll get back um, into one of the different places when you can? I mean, I very much enjoy, you know, the countryside and the quiet. But working in journalism, I expect that I will spend a lot of time here. Whether I, you know, buy a house here or something, that's, <laughs> I guess, up to the economy more than me. Because right now that seems very a very distant prospect. But I imagine that I will spend a significant portion of my life in London unless I, you know, move to America or something. You see, and there is the problem. Georgia, thank you. Georgia Gil, Jill Hooley, I should say. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us here on Talk Radio. So there